Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and today you will obviously have seen you're getting a lot of videos while I'm on my day off. If you haven't already, check out my Rainbow Cloud Shorts, where I test a rainbow bath bomb that's meant to turn into a rainbow, and this cloud basically fails. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but go check out my short. It's, it's already up. <laughs> Also today, you're going to get, you know, your yoga video, your Primark, and your strange home decor. I filmed a lot over the last couple of days, and I was batch filming, and that's what you've got today. Also, I went to Tesco, so you're now getting a Tesco haul. So you're getting like four videos today and a short, because I'm working quite a lot this week, so I needed to get some bits and pieces from Tesco's, and I wanted to give you some good content over the weekend. So I went to Tesco's, got a bunch of things. Let's get into the video without any further ado. So first of all, I got my Dr. Pepper. Yeah, usually I get Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, Pepsi Cherry, Pepsi Raspberry. It's got to have sugar in it. I need my caffeine or I get headaches, I get withdrawals. And to be fair, I don't smoke. I barely drink um, unless I go out. So this is like my... Treat for the week. It's two ninety nine for a pack of eight. Not a bad price. Next, I got a candle. Um, I got a candle that I got quite recently. Again, this is the sea salt and sandalwood candle. It smells really vintagey. If you want to call it that, like a musky vintage smell. Kind of also smells like the sea. Kind of a combination. Just a pound. Single wick candle. Smells divine. Then I got another candle. And this is their new mango and pineapple scented candle. And it kind of smells... Kind of like a fruit, fruit punch slash fruit cocktail. My son will absolutely love this one, so I'm going to burn this when he comes over. This is mango and pineapple. He absolutely loves the smell of mango in anything. And that's just a pound. It smells so good. Okay, next we have something less exciting. And that is bin liners. Oh, yes. We have some Silvrex. Yeah, that's the name, Silvex, I think it said. And these are drawstring bin liners. Uh, there's 12 in total. They are 30 litres. They were £1.50. I honestly don't care about bin bags, what they are, how much they are. I just bought the cheapest, I think, that I found. And uh, next, we went to the freezer. And we got a Tesco microwave cottage pie although you can put these in the oven um if you so wish you don't necessarily have to put them in a microwave 45 minutes in the oven or five minutes uh five minutes in the microwave then mix then five so to be fair 45 in the oven 10 in the microwave depends how much time you got i guess so we've got a gorgeous cottage pie these are 60 one pound 30 these are and then the 69 pence one is the tesco and tomato cheese pasta this isn't as bad as it looks it is a little dry with the sauce i wish it had more sauce but it is penne pasta and a rich tomato cheese and wine sauce and to be fair i sprinkle a little extra cheese over it give it a little bit more of a kick um and it's actually not that bad Okay, next on the list is the pasta we've done. Next, we've got some new porridge. So these are currently in Tesco's, and they're like, I think they're like 80-something pence, but with my club card, um, I get, yeah, they're 85 pence normally, but with my club card, I get them for, 30, um, for 50p, saving me about 35 pence. So these are the fuel porridge chocolate, and then I've got the fuel porridge golden syrup. Um, these are new. They're meant to be sort of on-the-go pasta pots. Um, pull tab to remove the sleeve off here. Um, I don't know. 
I guess they're all right. They're high protein, high fiber, bare, big serving, just add water. Like I said, they were 85 pence, 50 pence with the club card. I just bought both just to try. I'll let you know how I get on. Porridge with me is hit and miss because they either put enough flavoring in or they don't. Um, and I can always add some golden syrup to the golden syrup one. Next, we got some cheese. This is Creamfields grated cheddar. Massive bag. What is this? 500 grams for £2.50. It's a bargain price if you're like me and you just want to get home, whip something up and throw some cheese in. The one thing I hate is grating cheese. I find it so tedious. But for £2.50, Creamfields is the way to go. Okay, next on the list is some snacks. Oh, yeah. Unhealthy time. We got something I haven't had in a very long time, and that is flakes. And now I'm telling you, 100% these bad boys have shrunk. I don't care about the, the what is it called, the, um, the adultism, where because you've got older, they now look smaller. No. That's not a thing. They have generally shrunk. <laughs> Chocolate became more expensive, and with the sugar tax, they've just made them smaller, but charged you more. So these bad boys are 98 pence, and they are so tiny. So tiny. I remember flakes being huge. And no, it's not because I'm an adult. I... I, I, I Disprove that theory. Next, we have some Galaxy Minstrels. I do like a snack while I'm watching YouTube, while I'm watching a film. I have to admit, these are £1.25. Do you remember the day when pouches like this used to be a pound? I know, it's, it's being nitpicky. But the packet is half empty. I mean, look at what you get. And that's what the bag is. I mean, it's just all air. Why don't they just save plastic and make the bag the actual size? Do you know why? Because no one would buy it. Um, pretty much. That's a pound. One pound twenty-five or whatever it is. Next, we've got a personal favourite of mine. Whisper Gold. These are very hard to get hold of, i found. Um, and these... Have also shrunk. Look at that. That has shrunk. I'm telling you, they've shrunk. These are probably a ridiculous price. They are 98 pence as well. Unbelievable how expensive these are. So these are basically just a whisper with a caramel center. Next. We got some of the crisps I wanted the other day when I couldn't get them and I got pop chips instead. Sun bites. These are sour cream and cracked black pepper. These are absolutely Moorish and I could eat all of them. The £1.50 though and the bags again have shrunk. Um, they used to be a little bit bigger and I think they're shrinking, you know, 119 calories though. Okay, next. Cheese sandwich biscuits from Tuck, um, from Jacobs. These are a pound with the club card, or they are, I can't remember. They're a pound with the club card, or I think they're one thirty nine. Um, so you saved 40 pence, I think, by buying that. These are basically biscuits with the cheese spread in the middle. They're really Moorish. Um, tasty. Last treat I got myself with these um, enchanted eggs from Galaxy because these are really hard to get unless it's like Christmas or Mother's Day or Easter. These are the Galaxy chocolate with crunchy caramel rolled in rose gold. Again, these are really hard to get hold of and these were a pound. And I wanted cream eggs, but they didn't have any. Then I wanted the, there's a cream egg tin out for a fiver, which I can't find anywhere. Um, and Tesco said they'd sold out at my local one. They literally got a batch in and they were gone. So I doubt I'm going to get one. And then the last item I picked up was a birthday card. Because if you didn't know, it's my son's birthday. 
this coming week. He's turning 14 on the 10th. And I got him this awesome card. So it's got a grey envelope. And then I got this card for him. And it says, gamers don't have birthdays. Now, my son is 14. And if you think he doesn't game, then you are crazy. So it says, gamers don't have birthdays. And then you pull this little tab. And it says, they just level up. And I thought that was so cute. And with him being 14, I thought that was a perfect birthday card. It was a little pricey, though. It was three quid. Now, I don't usually buy cards. I haven't bought a Christmas card in, like, forever. I did buy my sister a birthday card recently. But this one caught my eye, and I was like, that is totally my son. Um, so I have got him that for his birthday. It was three pounds. He's going to be 14. He probably won't care, but it makes me feel good about it getting him a card like that that really spoke to me that it being my little man who isn't my little man anymore now that he's 14 coming up so that was everything I got I paid um the total was 22 pounds and 77 pence I had my club card so I got my savings and I paid 21 pounds 68 for what I can gather is not very many items, um, but there you go. So we got some treats, some junk food, we got some dinners, we got my son a card, we got some bin bags, we got some new porridge to try. Just a normal Sunday going to, to Tesco's. I went there in like the last hour thinking it would be really quiet on a Sunday. I was sorely mistaken. It was busy as hell. <laughs> Needed to get bits because I'm working next week and I needed to stock up on some treats for when my boy comes over. Um, hopefully we're going to do something on his birthday. I don't know what, whether I'll be filming it or not. We're going to have to wait and see till he comes over. But if you want to see more from me, give me a big thumbs up. Remember, support the channel by PayPal membership or give us a super chat and tell me what you think of Tesco's. Do you shop at Tesco's? What's your favourite supermarket? Give me all the goss down below. Tell me your favourite snack as well. Do you like chocolate? Do you prefer savoury? Do you prefer sweet? Let me know your favourite snack down below, whether it's a Hershey's, a dairy, um, a Ritz tea biscuit, custard creams. You let me know your little snack that you like to have, and I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.